Hi everybody. So we will continue with uh, we will continue now with the data type conversion. It's 1.2.2. It is the part of data structures and types. We already completed last part with the data types, and we can now check the data types conversion. We have such a uh, functions like um, uh, to string and pairs integer or number or such a things to convert strings to integer, integers to string or um, like uh, integer to float number. So we can just do them with the step by step. So let's get started with the first example. Let's say we have let, uh, uh, let uh, the number with the string no, with the normal way, let's say 45. So we want to concatenate it with the, an answer. We can just say, uh, like, number equals, we can just say such a things. Our number was, then we can just say number in this case, like this. So, let me just console.log and see if it is concatenated because we just try to concatenate string and the uh, uh, number, like integer. In this case, we can just say number and let's see if it works. If it is, our number was 45. Yeah, our number was 45. As you see, we concatenated with the plus. So that was the point. So uh, we can just convert the things with each other, right? So we can also say such a different things like uh, let's think our number. Uh, so we indicated number uh, like a 45. Now we want to write uh, for the number variable is the same, but in JavaScript you can use it with uh, another way, like with the new string. So if you make console.log, let's see what will you see there. So it's like a 45 for the string. As you see, it is already a string. It's not 45 anymore. So as you see, we change it that with that way, right? So we can just use it in that way. So because JavaScript is dynamically typed, this assignment does not cause an error message. Okay? So it was the first part. Let's continue with another uh, topic, numbers and the... Uh, uh, plus operator that you will understand something more comprehensively. Thank you.